Hey guys, Buffner Gaming here, bringing you back another video. And today we're jumping back into the weapon conversion series. And today we're covering the STG 77 or the AUG A1. So in this video, what we're going to be doing is taking the SMG variant of the AUG in Call of Duty Modern Warfare and transforming it into the assault rifle variant known as the STG 77, developed by the Austrian Army, as well as the AUG A1 is what it's also known as. So. Let's go ahead and get into it and I'll show you how to make this and then we're going to look at the recoil patterns and test it out in game and then I'll also see how it performs against enemies. So starting off for this weapon, I'm going to skip on the muzzle because we don't necessarily need one on this build. Now the barrel for this, you start with the short barrel on this weapon which makes it an SMG variant. So with this barrel here, it typically goes with a 9mm, and again, this is the submachine gun variant. So the barrel length on this, I believe, is a 420mm. So what we want to do is put the 622mm long barrel on this. Now, typically the standard assault rifle for the SCG-77, the barrel length is 508. We don't have that choice. What we have is between the 407s and the 622s. So typically the 622 is used for the H-bar, which is the light machine gun variant of the AUG, and then the 407s are used for the carbine versions. So for this purposes, the closest we're gonna to get to that 508 is this one for the assault build. So we're gonna go with the 622 millimeter long barrel. We're gonna go ahead and skip out on the laser. This build of the AUG doesn't have a Picatinny rail system on it, so it doesn't really fit in. So we're gonna go ahead and skip out on that. Now for optics, it's actually pretty cool. It does have the right optics for the SGG-77 here. So you can see the integral three times optic built-in scope with a three times magnification provides superior target acquisition. So for this one, this is the exact optic that comes with the STG-77 or the AUG A1. And we've seen it on the A2s and sometimes the A3s as well. So it's pretty cool that this is the game. I honestly wasn't expecting it to be here. Stock, again, this is an optional one. I'm using the FFS Heavy Stock just for the purposes of this video. I think it has a cool aesthetic design. It's also gonna help with your aiming stability. So with that longer barrel, I notice at range, it helps keep my spread pretty tight. So you're not getting a lot of bullet drift and recoil patterns on the long shots. Gonna go ahead and skip out on perks as well as rear grips. So again, these are all optional if you wanted them. But the ammo is one of the key ones here. So for the ammunition, you typically start with the the nine mil ammo, and then you have the choice of the 32 round mags. Then we switch to the 5.56 NATO rounds, 30 round mag, and then a drum mag of 60. So we're gonna go ahead and want that 5.56 30 round mag. And then for the underbarrel, I, I went ahead and selected the Merc foregrip here. You have obviously a few choices here and I think the Ranger foregrip could also work, but for the standard aesthetics of the AUG or the SCG 77, the Merc foregrip looks best and this looks like the exact foregrip that comes with the weapon. So let's go ahead and preview this. So this is what it looks like finished product. And you can see this is essentially an exact replica of the STG 77 or the AUG A1 and even the A2 assault rifle variants. Again, you can make a couple different variants out of this. We've already seen the SMG and we can also build carbines out of this as well. So this is the assault rifle variant. Again, that barrel length isn't quite where we want it, but this is as close as we're gonna get for right now. I'm sure down the road, they're gonna have more options added and there also may be blueprints of this that are in the game or coming to the game that we just haven't gotten there yet. So this is it. We're gonna do additional videos on the carbine builds, but for this one, let's go ahead and get in game and we're gonna test out the recoil patterns and see how it performs as well. So let's go ahead and get into that. Okay, so now that we're in game, we have our SCG-77 or our AUG A1 here, variant that we created from the AUG SMG. So what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and test the fire with our current attachments just without controlling the recoil at about a medium range here, right? So let's go ahead and try that. I'm not gonna control the recoil. You can see there it climbs literally straight up, right? Look at that recoil pattern goes straight up. There's no horizontal side to side recoil. So now if I control it, So there you can see, depending on how you control your recoil, 
um, the spread is much better and you can keep it pretty much on target. So let's try it one more time. And if I were to single fire this, switch select fire. So there we can see single fire, not controlling my recoil at all. It's gonna go straight up on full auto. Controlling my recoil, right? We're getting a little side to side recoil here when we're trying to control. That's just how you compensate for it. You can do different attachments to help mitigate that. And then again, here's controlling my recoil a little more as well. So if you were to burst fire this, now again, this does have a three round burst perk on it that you could select, but for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna do that. So this is the STG-77, or the AUG-A1. Now this is one of, one of the few ballpup designs in the game. So we have, we have the FAMAS or the F556. We have the L86 or the L85 or the SA87, whatever you wanna call it, also in the game, which I covered in a video. And then we have the AUG. So this is one of a few. There's a few more bullpup designs in this. Let's go ahead and see how it. We'll do some more firing here really quick. So really quick, some stats on this. So we reload. It also does have carbine variants that I said with a 407 millimeter barrel. The rate of fire on this is 680 to 750 rounds per minute with a muzzle velocity of 970 meters per second. So let's see if we can get a little bit of a distance here. Okay, let's go ahead and see how it performs against bots now in action. Let's see how it handles. Team Deathmatch. Get your teeth out. Time to hunt. So the SCG-77 was adopted by the Austrian army as the SCG-77 in 1978. We replaced the current assault rifle at the time which was the SGG-58, which was a 7.62 millimeter assault rifle. The cool thing about this is actually the barrels are swappable. So you can swap the barrels. They're built so you can quickly detach them and attach a long barrel like we have here, a carbine barrel, which would be the 407 millimeter barrel, and also uh, the 422 millimeter barrel, which would be SMG, I believe is the length on that. So you can see, first off, it does handle very well. And again, even though we have a 622 meter barrel here, which would technically be the H bar for the LMG variant, this is the closest we're gonna get to that 508 standard barrel length. So the SCG-77 or the AUG A1, A2, whichever one you wanna call it, does have um, a most recent A3 variant, which was developed, which has a Picatinny rail on the, base, essentially a quad rail on it on the front, which we don't have on this one. So I'm, I would say I'm almost certain that there's gonna be blueprints of this weapon that are gonna include basically an A3 variant. So we'll just have to wait and see. I know there's a lot of blueprints right now that are in the game to be unlocked as part of the missions. Not great, not too great hip fire on that, you can see. But the recoil is easily manageable here. You can see the good thing is since it climbs straight up, see I'm not even controlling the recoil right there and it's about a two shot, three shot kill. Let's test this out on single fire here as soon as I can get some range between me and one of these guys. They just keep coming at me here. Switch to single, get some distance here. So it's a three shot kill four at that distance. Oh, this guy's shooting at us heavy. So like I said, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an A3 blueprint in this game. That's a three shot kill. So I'm sure again, we'll be seeing that coming out in one of these future missions. Let's see if we can get this guy at what range is it a three shot kill versus a four shot kill. 
so that was three. Yeah, so about uh, closer to medium range, you're going to get a three-shot kill. Looks like at the distances is when it's going to be four, which is fine. That's still pretty good. Again, the recoil is very controllable. So I hope you guys like this weapon. And what I'll do in the future is show off the carbine version because you can make the carbine look similar almost to the A3. But um, we've seen the carbine as well as the assault build in some past Call of Duties. I believe it was in Black, the original Black Ops and maybe one other. I can't recall. Correct me on that one. But you can make the carbine version just by shortening down that barrel, keeping the 5.56 ammunition that you can even throw on like a holographic site to make it look more modern-ish, like an A3 might. Ah, it got me. Darn it. So I hope you guys like this series. Let me know what you think of the AUG. Do you like it, prefer it as the SMG variant? Have you tried the carbine build, or do you like the assault rifle build here? Again, you can put three-round bursts on this if you wanted to. Um, and I'm sure it would actually perform pretty well with this long barrel, depending on how you wanted to use it and you can't it doesn't look like you can put a sniper scope on it from what i saw unfortunately so you can't build a any sniper variants out of this from what i've seen looks like the highest telescope zoom you're going to get is at 3.25 with the integral hybrid so again sg 77 let me not, let me know what you guys think of this build what weapons do you want to see in the future let me know so I have my list, and then I also am curious to see what you guys want to see, and I'll be sure to build those and test them out as well. Also be sure to check out my Twitch page, so the link for that is in the description below. Again, we're going to be streaming there probably this weekend and on and off um, during the weeks, as well as mainly weekends, as now that this game is out, testing out weapons and just playing multiplayer. And ranking up. I'm getting close to, uh, I think I'm in the level 80-ish something right now. So, really enjoy playing this game. And I hope you guys are loving it as much as I am. Oh boy. This guy's close. Pretty decent hip fire there too. Being a ballpark design, it actually isn't bad at hip fire. And if you had a carbine build for this... It would be much better. You could throw like a hollow on there. And that's essentially built for, for hip fire. If you even put a laser on that. So there's a lot of builds for this. Which we'll cover in the future. Boy. But I think that's all for this one guys. Stay tuned for more videos. Let me know what you think of this weapon. Is this something you'll use? Interested in using or no? Have you played with the SMG build at all or not? Let me know what builds you want to see. And I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you do enjoy the content. It really helps out small channels like myself. Um, just providing more content. I like to know that we have some interested viewers. And it seems like you guys are really liking this series. So I really appreciate all the views and the likes and comments and interaction that we're getting. So let's keep the positivity going. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.